All right, so high pressure moved in behind our weekend front and it's been with us the last three days. It is finally going to start shifting out towards the east. If if you like the weather the last few days, sorry for you. Uh, we're going to start introducing some more cloud cover as we get mainly later in the day. By late afternoon into the evening tomorrow, we should see more cloud cover filling in in our western areas. But yeah, it's this high pressure has been in control the last few days and it's been promoting all this sunny and uh, pretty steady weather. Pretty much been on cruise control here for the last couple of days. Big dip in the jet stream is going to be coming and with it we're going to see a surface cold front. It's in the western US right now. We've got a lot of scattered showers, snow in the mountains out that way. As it comes through, we're going to see some Gulf moisture really build up out ahead of it and try to squeeze out some scattered showers. It does look like everything's going to be fairly light as we go through the weekend, starting as early as maybe Thursday night, maybe Thursday evening a sprinkle, probably still dry in the atmosphere Thursday night. Uh, maybe our western areas, very isolated little sprinkles, little drizzle out there. As we go through the day on Friday, though, as the storm system gets closer, more Gulf moisture is really pulled in and really through the whole day on Friday, maybe some hit or miss off and on isolated drizzle, isolated sprinkles, very light stuff out there. We're talking a trace, maybe a tenth of an inch at best out there. That's really it. And then as the front moves in on Saturday, it's going to be a slow goer, may even stall out somewhere in central and northeast Texas. It's also going to try maybe some indications that it can slide all the way through. As it kind of hangs around, we're going to have that chance for scattered showers really as we go through the entire day on Saturday. It doesn't look like it'll be a complete washout. We'll continue to watch that and fine tune it for you, but scattered showers off and on overall in the light to moderate variety are going to be with us again as we go through, especially mainly on Saturday. Second half of the weekend is going to be dry. Looking at the rain uh, possible totals here again, trace maybe a quarter of an inch at best in some areas. It's overall going to be pretty light right now. If you're heading out this evening, pretty much copy and paste where we have been the last two days. We've got low 60s out there. We're going to have dry uh, conditions, allowing temperatures under clear skies and light winds to fall all the way down into the lower 30s again. And I think we will have some 20s mixed in there for sure, at least in the upper 20s as that dry air is pretty much in place. Temperatures tomorrow under mostly sunny skies to start going to move into the 60s. And then I think our western areas, at least west of 35, will see clouds building in in the late afternoon into the evening. And then they'll be sticking around for the next few days. Cloudy Friday and Saturday with those rain chances coming in. Not going to be a drop buster, but we will take what we can get. And again, guys, continuing with the 60s, mm -hmm. pretty good. I love it. But then just off that to start February, it will cool down. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. We'll take that too. Thanks, I guess we really don't have a choice. We don't. Thanks, Zach.